Vision of Life and Counseling Ministry is a life-changing ministry that is unplugged. To be unplugged means that we have tapped into a new way of life. The Bible tells us in Romans 12 too, not to be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Transformation takes place when we have the knowledge of God's Word. Through this knowledge, you are no longer governed by the world system. You are under new management called the Kingdom of God. Through this Kingdom, God has given us everything we need, independent of what is happening in this world. Living by this revelation may seem odd, but in 1 Peter says, we are royal, holy, and peculiar. Just living a kingdom lifestyle. Our desire is that every person whom we come in contact with can understand God's simple plan of salvation for their life. Those who have the courage to dream must also have the courage to act. Vision without action is a daydream. Action without vision is a nightmare. Glorious vision combined with decisive action can change the world. Let us be world changers, history makers. Fountain of Life Ministry would like to tell you today to reposition yourself, arise to a new life, a new beginning with God. Arise and shine for the kingdom of God is at hand. There once was a flock that was lost and afraid. It wandered around without direction for days. But the Lord looked down with compassion from above and sent a good shepherd to lead them with love. The shepherd was kind, loving, and wise, and he cherished his whole flock, no matter the color or the size. Though the shepherd was quiet, humble and meek, every ear listened whenever he would speak. He would show them the way to walk in the light, and he prayed every day for God to give them true sight. He taught them about the blood of the Lamb and about the Creator, the Great I Am. They flourished and they grew through the knowledge they gained about the Savior from above who lived without blemish or stain. The flock was so thankful for the Lord above for sending a wise leader who was so full of love. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Hallelujah. Congratulations. On behalf of Fountain of Life Ministry, let me tell you something, it's not easy. If it was my choice, my will, I would never be a pastor. It's not an easy task. It's not an easy task. As the sister said, you got to lead the goats. Some are goats, some are sheep. Some are not easy to deal with because everyone has their character, their personality. They get misunderstanding, amen? But thanks be to God that he gave us that wisdom so that we can deal with different people, amen? Because it's not easy to mix a black cat and a white cat together, they're going to fight, yeah? It's not easy to put a dog and a cat together. But to God be the glory, what he put together, no man. So you being here as a member of New Life Tabernacle, a new deliverance center, is not by accident. It was an ordain. This is an ordination, an ordain that God placed this man of God over your life. Do not take it for granted. It is very, very good, the pastor's appreciation. I wish all churches could do this. Yes. Wow. Yes. Because we as pastors yes. go through some stuff. Yes. You might shake your head, but 
been there, done there. <laughs> and we're on, still going through. Because it's not easy yeah. to deal with people in Amen. general. Yeah. It's not easy. When you've got to teach them, you've got to guide them. Some would say yes and no. And when it's time to become what they have to become, then they, they abort everything that you teach them. You see, so it's important in the ministry to see your fruits. The fruits of your labor. And you have lived, God has spared your life to such a day and time to see the fruits of your labor. And I give God thanks for that. Because you've endured. You've held on strong. Because you have that Abraham anointing over you. Amen. But you can't do it alone. You need intercessors. You need the prayer warriors. Because together we stand. Amen. When everyone comes together in prayer, we can chase a thousand. Amen. And we always have to pray and intercede for our pastors. Because there's a scripture in the Bible taken from Romans 13. If you open it a minute, Romans 13. Verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto what? I thought you were it. Did you say amen? Huh? For there is no power but of God. The power that be are ordained by God. We truly believe that Pastor Johnson and his wife are ordained by God. To be your shepherds. Amen. He will be there in the good times with you, and he'll be there with you in the bad times. And when the bad times come, he's going to sustain you with the love of God. Because by the end of the day, all that matters is the love. The love. Hope, faith, and love to keep us strong and anchored. Amen. Tonight, my topic would be about faith. Because I feel it's needed to speak on that topic. The Bible says in Hebrews 12, faith is the substance of things. And it's an evidence of something we're not seeing. And I can see it because the Bible says those he predestinated are those he justified. Those he justified are those he glorified. There is a process for that glorification. It's not going to happen overnight. It takes sacrifices. Hallelujah. The Bible says be not Anxious, Come on. Okay. but by prayer and supplication, let your request be known. Because God wants to bless you. Yes. God wants to anoint you. Yes. God wants to give you a hundredfold. Come on. Amen. Okay. But there are obstacles in your way many times, and that obstacle could be sin. Hallelujah. And God wants to forgive each and every one of our sins tonight. If we allow him to forgive us our sins. And then you'll notice the cleansing is going to come. The cleansing is going to come. The washing in the blood is going to come. Because once the washing in the blood come, hallelujah, you will be complete and whole. You will be spotless. Amen. You will be white as snow. Because he will be straight to move mountains. Many times we ask God for a lot of things and he delay in giving us. Why? Why? It might not be the right timing. Are you ready for what God is about to give you? Can you take the pressure? Can you take it? Because remember, it's a preparation that you've got to able to go through. So tonight, God wants to activate your faith tonight. I don't know what is your problem. Maybe it's a health. Maybe it's a financial issue. Maybe it's a job issue. Maybe it's paperwork. Whatever issue it is, we bring it to the cross. We bring it to our healing tonight. We bring it to our deliverer tonight. We bring it to the lily of the valley. Yes. The bright and morning star. Yes. We bring it to the Lamb that take away the sins of the world. We bring it to the Lion of Judah. Yes. Why? Because he is our shield and yes. buckler. Yes. He is our rock that is higher than us. He is our refuge and our strength. Yes, sir. Who but Jesus? 
So we have to humble ourselves as little children. And He will exalt us in due time. You must always say in yourself, Lord, not my will, but yours be done. Even Jesus said that the yes. day on the cross. Yes. Said if it was for him, yeah. remove this cup. Remove it. Yeah. But not his will. See, once you become a Christian, the devil stops at nothing. Because uh -huh. he's seeking for whom he may be born. Exactly. He will tempt you 24-7. Yes. He will do all things to get your attention. If you just give him a small little hole like this, that's all he needs. He doesn't need a whole door. He just needs a small little entrance. And he will whirl like a worm, like a serpent in your life. But the devil is alive. Let him not steal your joy. Let him not steal your peace. Let him not steal your health and strength. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. If you feel that you've committed a sin or whatever it is that is not lined up with the word of God, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. You have to be able to ask God for forgiveness. Don't be proud and proud. Because he resists the proud. But he made grace for the proud. Many times we pride. Don't be proud. Pride is not going to get us anywhere. Stuck up pride is not going to get us anywhere. That flesh must die. The word of God says, let all flesh be slain. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. What are you asking God tonight? That you think that he's delaying in your prayers. He wants to activate your faith tonight. Because by acting your faith, remember, faith is an action word. It is. Amen? It is. Now, the person who was the guy, the paralyzed guy, uh -huh. he couldn't help himself. No way. Would he have been healed if, 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 if he didn't do anything? No. It took his friends. What kind of faith they had? They had a strong faith. Hallelujah. And it's good to be wrong people that have strong faith. Yes. Amen? Yes. Yes. His friends had such a strong faith that no matter what, they knew that if they just take him to Jesus, Amen. Jesus will heal him. Right. Amen? It is good to be around people that wants to help you and push you into your destiny. Push you into your purpose. Be around people that are positive. Be around people with the same mind that you have. If you're around a negative person, believe me, they're going to rub that negative on you. After a while, if they keep murmuring and murmuring, you'll find yourself murmuring also. It's contagious. But if you're around people that love you, wrong people that would embrace you yeah. they would accept you for who you are they wouldn't condemn you they would exalt you because the bible says we need to edify each other we need to exalt each other we need to comfort each other amen a brother and sister has a problem what are we supposed to do we're not supposed to judge them we're not supposed to condemn them by our acts and our behavior but we gotta exalt each other Exaltation, comfort each other in times of need, in the good and in the bad. Because Jesus never promised us a rose garden. He said, Many are the affliction of the righteous, but thanks be to God, He delivered us from them all. Why? Why? Because you are the head and I'm not the tail. You are blessed in your coming and your going. You are the apple of his eye. You are his ambassador. You are his royal priesthood. Amen. You present not just any and anybody. You present the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Why? Because you see first the kingdom of God. And all the things 
will be added unto you. But God wants you to activate your faith. Because if we read in Hebrews, the whole scripture of Hebrew talks about Abraham activating his faith, Moses activating his faith, Sarah activating their faith. All of them, David, Joseph, name it. And we are walking around, figuring, ah, sick, I'm hoping God, no. When you pray, don't doubt. You come to him believing. That's all it takes. Believing and you will receive. Many of us go and pray and then we look back and we hope and we think and we say, well, if God, you know, no. Amen. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Know who you are in Christ. Know who you are in Christ. Take your position. Be the woman. Be the man that God called you to be. Stop wasting time around negative people. Be around positive people. Hallelujah. Be around people that will hurt your ministry. Because you might say, Lord, I don't know what's my calling, Lord. I don't know what you have me here for. Why am I on earth, on this planet earth? He has a calling for each and every one of you. And your pastor and the Holy Spirit can guide you and show you what is your calling. You believe you have a calling? Yes. Are you walking in your calling? If you believe you have a calling, why are you not walking in your calling? Is it because of sin? Is it because... You're lacking the faith? What is keeping you back? What is keeping you back from walking in your home? Tomorrow is promised to no one. I am here tonight. Am I guaranteed where I'll be next month from today? No. So while we are here, as God gives us breath to breathe, we must praise the Lord Amen. and live each day as if it was the last day. Don't go to bed angry. Don't go to bed depressed, distressed, frustrated, busted, and disgusted. Go to bed with the joy of the Lord, the peace of the Lord. He said, you are in this world, but you're not of this world. We're pilgrims. Remember, we're passing through. And God will reward you accordingly. You do nothing, you reap nothing. You sit all day in the chair and you don't do nothing. You don't pray. You don't walk in your destiny and your purpose. What? are you going to produce when you reach before the Lord now he, you think he's going to say well done my true and fit do you think he's going to say that if you do nothing with the gifts he's given you you didn't activate your faith you didn't even ask him Lord forgive me my sins you ask him nothing and you expect to receive how's that going to be you're not going to receive because you didn't give him anything. Amen. You didn't give him your worship. You didn't give him your life. You didn't give him nothing. So you get nothing. You get nothing. Amen. And believe it or not, people will get mad. Oh my God. They'll get mad. You know, they, they sow nothing, but they want to reap a harvest. And those who sow and reap a harvest, they're upset with them. They're, they're mad. Mad, mad, mad. I don't know that the envy is coming or the jealousy coming. Why are you envy me? Why are you jealous me? Because what God gives me, He can give also to you. And if you begin to sow, you will reap your harvest too. Because God is no respecter of It's like cancer. Cancer don't respect who you are. Babies get cancer. At any age you get cancer. Don't matter. It's not to say well, when I reach 52, then I have the highest risk. I can get it at any age. Cancer is no respecter of person. 
tonight that you might have sins in your life that you will never deal with as we sit here take a moment in your own with him and ask him to give him you know maybe you might have said something to someone that you're not even aware of of, of the hurt you heard them maybe yeah. you never know sometimes we say things and the word gone. Yeah. But when the word gone, we can't take it back because it's gone. Right. It's gone. We can't look back. Yeah. It's what forward. We gotta sit forward. So I give you a moment right now to ask God. Humble, sincere. Because he's looking for people with a pure heart. Not hypocritical. Pure heart. Come to him as you are. He is your savior. He is your refuge and strength. And like I said, no one can point and say, I don't have any sins. We all have sins. We all have sins. Maybe you have told the pastor, the, 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 your spiritual father and your spiritual mother, Lady Johnson, and maybe you have said them things in the past and never asked God forgive me for those words that I spoke. Maybe you've talked to someone rough yesterday without you're aware of it, how you hurt them. Yes. And it's important tonight, because after that, God wants to cleanse you. Wash you in His blood. Take a moment right now, in silence. Close your eyes. You're not doing it for me. You're doing it for your home. Because the Bible says we all have to work out our salvation. Amen? Right now. With eyes closed, I give you like three, four minutes. Excellent. Come into agreement with him. Don't leave here the same tonight. Don't leave here the same tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
You could have been somewhere else doing something else. But because of the love of God, God kept you. With all hands raised now. Father, you know the hearts of your children tonight. You know where they need that healing power right now. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will send your angels to take charge over them, Lord. That you will anoint them, Lord, for such a day and time, Lord Jesus. I pray tonight, whatever heart that is broken tonight, Lord, mend that broken heart in the name of Jesus. Right now, Lord God, those who shed tears, Lord, wipe the tears from their eyes, Lord Jesus. Those who wake up in the midnight hours and they feel so sick, Lord, sit to their stomach, Lord. I release healing in your bodies tonight, Lord. I release that Jehovah Chira power in your lives tonight, Jesus. Guide them and protect them, Father God. I pray tonight that whatever need, Lord God, you will meet their need, Father God, according to your riches and glory, Jesus. Whatever it is that is financially blocked, you will bless them a hundredfold. If their knees are sick, we decree and declare that they heal, Lord God, by your stripes, Lord, because it said in Isaiah, you were bruised for our iniquity. Hallelujah. The chastisement of your peace, Lord, is upon us, Lord, and we declare healing in our bodies tonight, Lord, from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet, Lord. No weapon from a
to please God. Do you want to please Him tonight? For you to please God, you've got to walk by faith and not by sight. Do you believe that God touched you tonight? Do you believe that God wants to activate you?